Hello, all the awesome people out there. My name is Kiro, and welcome back to this let's play of Control, where we are going to find my brother. And last time since I died, I didn't really go to where I need to be afterwards. I think I died at least. <laughs> it has been one day. I can't remember stuff now. Okay, I have to just go forward. Oh right, I went here. Yeah, yeah, I died. <laughs> I remember now. I got stuck in a wall or something like that and then... Things went horrible. Also because I had the wrong weapon. Because this was not hard at all. <laughs> Uh, miss? <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, nothing in here. Nothing. I'm beautiful. <laughs> uh, nothing in here. I'm on my way, little brother. I think at least it's my little brother. Uh, I need to go in there. So what? Okay, so that's not what I wanted to do, but fair enough. And I probably can't open this yet. Especially when I press the wrong buttons. That makes it kind of hard. things those are weird go out <laughs> I like that you can actually hit them on the way back Anyone else that wants to get a taste of my... Ow! I thought you were dead. Okay, let's pick up some death over here. Are there any more? Oh! That's actually something I can pick up. <laughs> At least I'm full health now. Okay, and I saw one in here. I don't know why he's so stuck. Hello, light. <laughs> I can't see shit now. <laughs> I'm blind. Uh, doesn't seem this was just a fighting arena. Goody. Then we can go over to the store. I still hate those voices I hear all the time. Freaking creepy. <laughs> Oh, yeah, this looks fine. P6 is what the Bureau calls Dylan. His cell's been breached. Has the Hiss found him? Are you there with him? Can you protect him? So, P6 this way. Oh, one of these. Okay. So we need to find the key again.
Okay. Could you not? I don't think that's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> What's behind all number this? That's blood. What are you doing in there? At least everything is upside not upside down. Wow. Uh, I can't do anything here though. Ding. Don't know if that did anything at all. Maybe that changed this room so it's uh, not upside down anymore. Yeah, it actually did. And now I'm out. Also, why do they have these black lights? <laughs> Where? <laughs> Actually, it's been cool, a wait. long time since Dylan and I knew each other. I've wondered about him, what kind of man he'd grow up to be, were things as hard for him as they were for me. Maybe in here, they were even harder. I still wish that these opened with your uh, normal run speed. Hello. Oh, hello. Is there something I can help you with? I'm Jesse, the new director. I need to get inside. New director? Right. Uh, well, okay. Hello, I'm Frederick Langston, the Panopticon supervisor. It's not the best time for a tour. We have hiss everywhere, numerous cell breaches, and system failures across the board, but you're the director, so here we go. <laughs> Founded by Zachariah Trench, the Panopticon is our state-of-the-art repository for all altered I items. I don't have time for this. Power and I was told Dylan Faden was kept here. Can you help me find him? Faden? Uh, sure. Darling wanted him somewhere secure and isolated away from people. He's in the maximum security cells, upper level. But there's currently a, uh, a pressing matter, ma'am. We've got an object of power loose in there. <laughs> it's wrecking the place. The Benikoff TV? It's a, it's a real doozy. Salvador took a team in to handle it, but no one's heard from them for hours. This is a Category 5 thing. OOP we're talking about, and if we don't contain it soon, it will tear the Panopticon apart. And we don't want all those altered items getting loose, ma'am. No, trust me. Dylan's in there. Open the door, Langston. I'll handle it. If you say so. Uh, I usually tell first-timers not to touch anything, so... Uh, just do that. <laughs> I'm gonna touch Here, everything. Door for you. <laughs> and please, ma'am, call me Fred. Thanks, Langston. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that as, as um, I don't do what you say. Were you on every level. These his things were bad okay, so what do we have in behind door number this one? The Panopticon. Dylan's close. But that object I'm of pretty power sure these doors this place before know. I find him. But we do have this one. And we have something in here we can do. Um a piece of a pistol with a charge shot that penetrates armor of the enemy. Oh, I actually want that. Thank you. Uh, that means if I go all the way out in here, I can change this one to this one instead. Okay, let's see how this works when... Okay, it goes off as you know.
It's just important that I remember to hold it down when I go in a shoot. <laughs> yeah, because you can't just click. Don't let that sound. It sounds like something were here down here. Oh, pass. Watch out for that wing. I don't want that to explode in my face again. What is down on this floor? I should probably have checked if there were anything further ahead. Like down here. I'll say that's just a nope. <laughs> this is called closed. to be in the center somehow. Are these all objects of power? What has the fan done? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I hope this was not important recording. Bureau's plan to make Dylan the next director. Marshall made it sound like it was all Dylan's fault, but how much of it was what the Bureau did to him? I don't think she's telling me everything. <laughs> yeah. I'm still curious about the TV thing. Oh, hello there. I can't do anything right now. <laughs> okay. I just wanted to make sure which gun I had equipped. Watching the fridge. Someone has to watch this object at all times, or it deviates. My super blazer never showed up. Can you help me? Damn. I can't. I'm sorry. There's an emergency. I'll come back. I promise. Okay. Okay. Just don't forget. I can't stare at this thing much longer. <laughs> fridge duty. Okay, so that's another side quest for later. Let's activate this one. What did you call me? Oh, something is going down low here. I do really like that I can take those down in two shots, even though... Where do the missiles come from?
Ow. That hurt. You're fine. So I guess this was here that we're holding him. <laughs> That's the object of power. I need to cleanse it. Time to watch some TV. Okay, that was pretty awesome. <laughs> What are you about? Other than f raining stuff down on my face, it seems. Or not. Okay. Okay, there we go. <laughs> For some reason I couldn't change the, my camera angle. <laughs> Okay. That hurt. <laughs> he killed me two shots. What the hell? And I felt like I couldn't uh, damage him at all. So, curious what that's all about. I'm really bad at dodging, by the way. <laughs> I have a dodge button. <laughs> Second, when you do that, there we go. He's down. Okay, that took way longer than it should have. There's one up there. That thing was Salvador, the head of security. His team didn't stand a chance against the Hiss. No one here does. Yeah. I have a lot of these things, apparently. More than I can handle. So, I could take... All the little ones... I'm gonna 
this one I had. This one. Also getting really close to that weapon watch. Again, now people probably in the comments will be yelling at me for being an idiot. <laughs> for getting rid of stuff. Do I have any level 2 so I can... Attach to these instead of level 1s. There we go. Okay, the TV. Yeah, first is our object of power going nuts. Here we go again. Why didn't I not pick this one up? There. Hey, TV. You are a douchey one. Wonder what power I will get from this one if I get one. How do we do this? Uh, hold to levitate. How do I go down? Okay, just by pressing it again. That is really useful. I don't see any reason to fight them. <laughs> More than I need to. <laughs> New slash. <laughs> okay. Okay. Dealt with the TV. Now I can find Dylan. Can I get this? Or maybe this area is not supposed to be fixed. went well <laughs> not at all i keep forgetting i can't use the uh, force push thing with any uh, with items on them well at least i'm out here now so i don't have to fight them so that's good how do we get or oh, maybe i need to get up there and since I have this one I can't 
get up there still. Oh, maybe I can actually... Well, forward to go then. You have the weirdest thing in containment. <laughs> this is really an SP lab. <laughs> Yes. Jesse. Are you there, Jesse? Oh, I wanted Emily? to pick up apparently, but him. Um... He's gone. Dylan isn't here. He might be nearby. Or maybe the hiss got to him. I don't know. Yeah, he's. Jesse, listen. Dylan's here with us. He just walked in. He says he is giving himself up. He's been affected by the hiss, but, but he is different than the others. We must isolate him. I'm on my way. We need to get back. I have to see my brother. Uh, can I get in here? Just really curious if there's any. important things. Please don't write my name on the walls. That's kind of creepy. Okay, so I'm guessing this is forward and I probably can't open this door. Yeah. Need the key card for that. Which I of course don't have. get in there uh, okay well oh, there should be an elevator on this side here so I can take that back hopefully Elevator is this, this side around. Oh, that is that one, probably, isn't it? 
here. So I'm guessing the game wants me to. Get to the teleporter thing instead. That's also fast, anyways. If I remember where it is, it's this way actually. And then it should be to my right. First off, ability points. So we had unlocked this one. More limitation. I'm missing these. <laughs> Apparently, there was our side quest. Ooh, I can get an ability now. But I don't have enough points for that. Uh, fast travel, and we're going to. This is where I am. I need to go to this one. The teleport is easier to figure out than the elevator. Because <laughs> here it actually changes between the maps so I can see where the freak I have to go. There's a lot of things in here I've missed somehow. Hello. No, it's happening. After all these years, Dylan is here. Oh, but am I too late? How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems more in control, more present. I want to see him. My brother? Or is he? Of course. Yeah, Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse, be careful. I always am. Am I not? Oh, God. Did she have to write everything in a made up gibberish code? Fucking Marshall. Okay, upper floor, so... Oh. I found this token. Any idea what it does? Ah, that is a jukebox token. Little bastards turn up in the weirdest places, like bad pennies. The rangers use them to activate an old object of power. A jukebox, I assume. Does it have any good songs? <laughs> nope, just the one record. Hey, be careful turning it on, though. When it's playing, you get a free trip to the formation. The formation? That sounds ominous. Why does it send you there? The Bureau has been wondering that for years. I mean, it's just a pile of rocks built by God knows who, but... Well, researchers have confirmed it's in the same threshold as the quarry. Well, no one's ever been able to map the physical route to the formation for maintenance. So it's in the quarry? You just don't know where? Pretty much. We only send in annual expeditions to the formation now. Checkups, Salvador calls them. This year's team went in the day the Hiss arrived. Come to think of it, the song should have rolled back hours ago. I can go in and take a look. I'd appreciate that. The jukebox is kept just past the security booth over there. Just put in the token and enjoy the ride. Um. I have to go. Me too. So this is You're not the only one who's busy, you know. And not a side quest. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, but my point of interest is that this is say upper floor. Just when I thought things were stabilized, Marshall abandons us. I'm sick of no one telling us what's going on. This is Lynn Salvador, head of Bureau of Security. I'm making a formal security order due to the incident in April. Case number 21HQ593. Improper use of the jukebox altered item led to two fatalities. We believe a pair of agents used the jukebox to travel to the quarry threshold and engage in inappropriate workplace behavior. <laughs> An expedition team found them decomposing at the formation's base a week later. At least we found out the jukebox doesn't bring corpses back when the song ends. I'm having the jukebox placed in a secure location in the executive sector. It should never have been accessible to low clearance staff in the first place. The new location security and proximity to a high traffic area will prevent misuse while still allowing for expedition teams to access it when required. See me for any further details. Good luck out there. So. Why haven't we dissected that? I know that I have uh, targeted the jukebox, but I have no clue where it is. Radio. Oh, maybe this. Oh, here it is. Okay, let's do it then. Oh, it's a challenge. No, I will not do it then. <laughs> um, let's get back to the. There should be main quests, right? Why do I have a time on this one? That was not what I wanted. Uh, which one is? Completed missions. It's this one I want to do. And he should be upper floors. Okay. What's the word, Faden? Unless it has something to do with you again. I don't think I ever told you this, but I was actually on the path to being a ranger once. Did the whole boot camp thing. Even got rookie status. Anyway, not the point. My own ranger squad was a great bunch. There was six plus me. Remus, Hazard, Cho, Guy, Hepton, Stall, and Thompson. They were supposed to get back from an expedition yesterday. We had the beers and wings planned. Problem is, they weren't here when Darling handed out the HRAs. Then they had nothing protecting them from the hiss. You see, they prepped for the worst, but I think that we're already past that. We all wore these pouches around our neck, and I really don't want the hiss to get them. Could you find them for me? Uh, the squad would have come back through maintenance, but they probably spread out from there. I'll keep an eye out for them, Arish. And I won't let them stay his. Uh... I have to go. So he just gives a lot of side quests, apparently. Busy, you know. Stay sharp, please. HRA production. They're already getting other survivors to come see. Great. Get back to my office soon. 
I have no clue where I have to go. Okay, someone like posted notes. What does this feel even creepier than anything else I've seen so far? Maybe. Yeah, it seems like the right place. Happiness comes. You are a part of your time. The thunder song distorts you. Happiness comes. White pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. Through a mirror inverted is made right. Leave your insides by the door. Push the thing through the surface into the wet. You've always been a new youth. Why does it betrayal? We stand around you while you dream. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. Through time, the thunder song distorts you. You are a one through time. Shit. The thunder song distorts you. That's Dylan. Can you hear me? Oh, come on, Dylan. I'm here. I found you. Do you know who I am? Oh, you know me. Say it. You are Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. <laughs> Always a good sign. <laughs> Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Push the fingers through the surface into the wet. You've always been the new you. You want this Can you to stop be that? True? Please. <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. No, I can't it feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. <laughs> Not really. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You! You came in through the hole in you! We let you in! You've always been here! The only true! A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy! Stop it! Orangefield! Shit! Shit! He can see you! This is not safe! We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small. In ordinary. In the desert. Through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trench took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. And she didn't help when they locked me up for years. After the song time for applause. We build you till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will emerge out of you. You are home. He's kind of creepy. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it. And they found... 
they open the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the Altered World event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. I'm here warm as a tune you can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, baby, baby. Just plastic. So safe. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Funny. Not really. I welcome the hiss. I let it in. To get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut this off the slide projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Go to the prime candidate program in the containment sector. I have the key card to get you there. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this light projector. You can help yeah. me. We can end this. You are a worm through time. You are a worm through time. Through time. How did you give me the card bag? I will not question anything. How? Okay, so the fastest way there now is actually fast travel, I guess. Should be able to get there from here. I hope, I think, I maybe. We have to see. Okay, let's. How do I get over that area though? I do know that I have new abilities, so... Okay, that didn't work as planned. This is just a bathroom.
collapsed. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, see the map again where I have to go. Still a little bit confused about it. It seems that this is blocked off. I've not been here. That is still the toilet. <laughs> oh, right. I couldn't get in here before. This is still closed off. But I had security clear in six now. So maybe that can help me get further. Yeah, I couldn't get in here before either. Cause I need clearance six. Mark Gibson, male, age twenty-eight, returned from the Alpha plane approximately thirteen years ago. Intense pressure behind the eyes and partial blindness. He has no recollection of his time on the Alpha plane and approved. Been in there before, apparently. Oh, so this, yeah, okay. reason why I haven't been there is because all of this has collapsed. Oh, he's in there. Okay, there was nothing in here other than this, so... I'm guessing here somewhere should be a way over the other side.
August 4th, 1964, we discovered the oldest house in the New York City subway tunnels. The agents found their way up into the building. Once we became aware of it, it was there. For the rest of the population, it was hiding in plain sight. A slippery blind spot, seemingly discouraging observation. It's a, a place of power. An ongoing AWE of its own. Seemingly adhering to its physical outer constraints, and yet constantly breaking the known boundaries of reality. It's, it's unstable. Shifting. Note. For more details on control points and the research and process to stabilize and secure the core sectors, refer to a separate presentation. After extensive research and investigation, the Bureau made the building its headquarters on November 13th, 1968. The Federal Bureau of Control was never out in the open. This, this was always an obfuscated, classified top secret operation. So imagine our surprise when the building's observation resistant aspects began in some unquantifiable way to affect the Bureau as a whole. Interesting. Oh, so this where we are running around now is the Elder's house. Why haven't I connected that dot yet uh, before now? Okay, so this should be forward since my entity Polaris wanted me to go this way. Oh, hello there! Could you not? The head is a phone booth <laughs> that is not stuck to the wall anymore. <laughs> I'm stuck in the wall. <laughs> uh, we'll try that again. Not in a wall, but I was stuck on a wall. <laughs> That's the hardest part when you get into an area you don't know really the layout and you have to get away. That is why minimap is really, really useful sometimes because you can see if you're stuck. And I'd had to battle the camera angles. But if this game doesn't have a convenience like that. Oh god, where am I? Oh, I'm all the way back here.
Thank you for dying. Okay, we'll see the last one. Oh no. Okay, that was the last ones. So now we just have to find nuts uh, where do I have to go is this what Dylan wanted me to see it doesn't matter. We need to find that projector. We used to play there all the time. Me and Dylan. And other kids. Studied what happened in ordinary here. That's the place to start looking. Die. Thank you. Any more? I don't think I need to use the elevator just yet, but it's nice knowing this it's there. Dylan and I were both prime candidates. Experiments. Or maybe I do need to use the elevator. <laughs> that prime candidate program. Horrible. I had the wrong gun equipped. <laughs> I'm so bad at remembering to switch out. Oh god, I got teleported back to the... Uh, I really hate that I haven't found any um, travel points yet. So that means I go all the way back to the entrance again. God, I hate it. Let's see if we can do this without dying this time. Is that it? That was it. I just killed myself stupidly before then. Oh, and I get... 
a fast travel point here. That is useful. I could have used that before. <laughs> Oh, I can construct uh, jukebox token swap. I can't even talk. It started there, and it's never gone away. There's gotta be a way to rotate these tracks. Maybe there's a control panel nearby. <laughs> I don't have any more. God dang it. You can just stay down there. Don't bite you. Wait, isn't this where I came from? Yeah. <laughs> Also, apparently, it seems like the save points heal us more, so that's nice. There's got to be a way to rotate these tracks. Maybe there's a control panel nearby. Wasn't that just what it did? It says the control panels is over there, so maybe... No, I don't want to go down again. <laughs> oh! Never mind! <laughs> yeah. I think I found a way forward. Yeah. <laughs> Don't like that guy. <sighs> OK, 
Okay, so that means there's something I can power on somewhere. We're free. That should be easy enough. As long as I can find all the power cubes for it, of course. I say yes, I'm missing one power cube. <laughs> Okay, I still need one because I need to restore power to the elevator, so... I found the light power cube! Don't know if they're called that, but uh, that is the name I'm giving them. Is this the way I'm supposed to go? Yeah, because I need to go to another area apparently. Where am I supposed to go from here? I need to go this way. I need to use the controls. These aren't controls. This is a control thing. toward archetypal objects, a gun, a, a television, a supposedly haunted house. So clearly humanity affects this process. Our collective unconscious is a, a map of sorts. We hold the key, but we don't know how to use it. We create these archetypes through everyday life, popular culture, urban legends, but we are observing and influencing a complicated system in action. We can change the likelihood of something being a receptacle for these forces just by thinking about it. But we haven't found a method to control the outcome. And yet, there is something unique in us, in our dreams, in the conceptual reality with power with our minds. What's the cause and what's the effect? Are we the starting point or just a necessary evil in this? A byproduct, a reflection. A projection. We'll struggle to find the answers to these hard questions. Yep. Or die trying. Well, apparently it seems mostly like die trying at the moment. <laughs> I 
Oh, hello there. Even the trees. So this is where the slide projector were originally. And I'm guessing this is how it affects the area. Okay, where do I have to go? Something has to be in here then. Why is this house red? Charging, please. We found the slide projector in the dump outside town. Did they recreate that too? Is that where they keep it? The dump outside town. Why I think it would be there. You mentioned a poem last time we talked by Thomas Zane. Yes. Beyond the shadow we settled for, there's a miracle. the whole landfill here in the middle of New York and nobody saw a thing pretty unbelievable oh
need to get a little bit of the distance. Okay, so even the guys in the wheelchairs have to hit them. I forgot it had that attack. I thought it was about to charge to um, <laughs> fly at me. Uh, shoot at, at me, it's called. <sighs> Some of these battles here, man. Oh, come on. Probably not getting up to me now. Oh, he's actually on the way up to me. <laughs> I think I only have that guy left now. It's not okay you're going down like that. Are you?
that lab. <sighs> yeah, I should. I will not say how many times I tried this, but holy crap, I kept dying. <laughs> Let's say it like that. If this video is a short one, then it's because I kept dying here. <laughs> I was still try to record for like around two hours every time. <laughs> Effective immediately. I'm setting up a new department. Dimensional research in the research sector. Uh, transferring the slide projector there. That's where my focus will be now. The ordinary site remains as is. We'll be back to... I, I don't know when. Darling took the projector to the research sector. He dedicated a whole area to it, so he knew it was important. Dimensional research. That's where we go next. Well. That's gonna be fun. But I will end off this episode um, in just a moment. Can I... I have so many sh things on me again, probably. Okay, I will just start getting rid of... ...level 2 stuff. Because it seems like 3 and 4 is the new things I'm starting to get. This one gives me 31. Oh no, it gives me 15. So it's the same as these two. But this one on the other hand gives me more health recovery than what I have. It's a ribbon part, that's why I can't pick it up, okay. Um, but I really want to get to... <coughs> um, research... Where is the nearest elevator? This one? Also, I Um The first time I went down here... Find something under this car? Was it? No, maybe. Yeah, I can't remember. Let's go to the elevator. Because I just want to end off at a, actually a checkpoint thing. That went according to me, not good. Okay, just make sure that it makes an auto save here. So the next time we have to go to this area. Let's just teleport there so I don't forget about it. And getting a lot of confused where I have to go next time. So, but as I said, I will end this episode off here for today. Sorry again if it's a little short one. I died way too many times and taking how much time I have to record to begin with, then <laughs> two hours is about what I have. So thank you all so much for stopping by and watching. Please give this video a thumb up if you enjoyed it. It really helps out the channel a lot. 
And as always, take care one and goodbye.